the fabric of New Orleans. A fusion of sound and flavor, a feeling you'll only find here. And when you walk into Little Dizzy's. And a gumbo. Gumbo. Definitely the gumbo. You know you found it. Let's do the gumbo. You haven't tasted fried chicken until you taste this fried chicken. For more than half a century, Wayne Bakke has been an institution in this food town. When you say the Bakke name in New Orleans, everybody knew it. Little Dizzy's was one of the first to reopen after Hurricane Katrina. 53 cents. But 2020 brought a different kind of challenge. The minute all of this set in, I decided then, because of wearing masks and my age and the time that I put in it, it's over. I'm done. He decided to retire and close last March. We had a buffet before. That, those days is over. You want ketchup by ourselves? Wayne's son and daughter-in-law are Keisha. I felt very secure. Reopened Little Dizzy's in February, ready for an era focused on social distancing. We decided let's do everything into go containers. So that way when a person finishes eating, their food is dumped. The table is sanitized, all chairs, whether someone sat in the chair or not. When the pandemic hit, tourism leaders estimate the city lost more than $200 million in visitors spending a week. For Mardi Gras this year, homes were decorated like floats since COVID canceled the traditional celebrations. At one of the city's famous live music venues, Tippy Tina's. Pay-per-view virtual shows have helped keep the lights on since in-person concerts aren't allowed. There's been, you know, talk of, oh, maybe you can get a few dozen people in here, like, that'd be nice. But there's no way for a place this big to, to earn enough revenue to keep that going. They've rented out space to a coffee shop, started a record club, and have relied on government money to make it to this point. In the long run, we'll look back and think like, that was a really tough time, but if we can do that, we can do anything. And while this crisis isn't over, it isn't too soon to reflect on the journey, one that's been powered by creativity. The Bakke family got a lot of history. And confidence. But if you do it right, and when you've got the experience and the knowledge from, from somebody that can tell you how to do it, you can't lose.